what's up guys just finishing off my Thai iced coffee to reward myself because I'm about to engage in an act of uh, self-abuse today we're taking on the durian in this ordinary world the durian is known as the king of fruit it's about the size of a basketball covered in extremely heavy-duty spikes and emits an odor so foul that when it's come undone that it's actually illegal to eat this in certain countries in public that's right there is a fruit on planet earth that you are not allowed to eat in public in certain countries this thing is notorious okay it is serious business some have described the smell as cat urine gym socks rotting meat rotten eggs turpentine onions and the list goes on and I'm gonna try a couple of varieties today in Thailand uh, or maybe just one and give it up and throw this all away I don't know either way save a prayer for me all right so just off the bat right we're opening it up and it's like coming off with the wrapper I'm confused it doesn't it smells it does smell sweet it doesn't smell so bad oh god the problem, it's just like a putrid looking fruit. It's this like yellow, rotten looking flesh. It feels like, like jello pudding wrapped around a stone in the center. Mm. Okay, start off with notes of onion and mustard. That is the most confusing thing I've ever had in my mouth. Well, you know. Okay, onions, whipped cream, garlic, mango, pepper. It has a very confusing meaty flavor to it. A rotting... No, that last bite was straight onion. You think it's one piece of fruit and then it breaks off into these like disgusting little cells. I keep licking my fingers because I'm stupid and I didn't get a napkin so I can't really commit to being super messy with this because I have to clean myself off all right a burger made with questionable beef covered with um, raw onion raw garlic overripe banana whipped cream marshmallow mustard too much mustard and then that whole thing dipped inside of like a mango syrup the feeling of too much wasabi, that feeling going through your nostril while you're eating it. That's what that is like. Mm. This is the first thing I'm eating today and it's probably gonna be the last. Okay, this is already noticeably worse. I just wanna show what I'm looking for. Oh God. Oh, this one's not as juicy. I feel like I'm eating, this looks like a, that looks like a giant maggot. It looks like there's legs inside of there. I'm taking a big bite out of this one. Mm. I want to throw up some. No, I'm not like I'm not doing that. I should have listened to the fruit guy. I shouldn't have bought that gray one. I could have saved myself this whole time, but he, he gave me gloves. I could have been not eating it and having to lick it off my fingers just like a fucking moron. It's a great diet. Before this, I was hungry like a wolf, and now I the reflex is just so strong right now to, to just spit it out immediately. It, it punches the back of your throat. Not for the faint of heart, all right? This fruit's only reserved for the wild boys like me. I'm Richie Tolway with Unguided Nick. Oh. That smell just reactivated something in me. I cannot get the smell of durian off my breath right now. My hands smell like a dirty nut sack. And now all those girls that definitely wanted to kiss me won't kiss me now. Because that, because of that. Just only because of that. Not because of anything else for sure. 
while I was researching Dury and Facts to tell you guys about. It made me think of Duran Duran. And um, so I used a lot of song titles from Duran Duran in that video. And comment below, let me know how many you found. And if you guess it right and you're the first one, you win a prize. I don't know what the prize is yet, but it's something. Is that the dumbest Easter egg ever? Yes. Arguably the durian fruit is the grossest Easter egg ever, so it makes sense. I'm Richie Tully with Unguided Nations and I will see you tomorrow on another adventure.